Welcome everyone. Uh, just a little background, I'm gonna be doing a quick little voiceover um, presentation regarding the partnership between Christofferson Business Travel and the University of Washington. Um, just so you know, uh, Christofferson Business Travel, this is the UW preferred travel agency that uh, we, the travel office, uh, support here on campus. Um, in our travel information meeting, in the in-person meeting, uh, which was on June 20th, um, CBT actually came out and did the presentation. Um, unfortunately, we did not record. Um, and so, since I have uh, some expertise with CBT and I help uh, support them here on campus, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump in and do uh, my own little presentation here so you guys have, have something for the recording. And so let's go ahead and get started. So like I mentioned, uh, CBT is UW's uh, preferred travel agency. They offer uh, an easy, yet sophisticated online travel booking uh, powered through Concur's online booking tool. Um, many of you on campus are already using this. Um, and I'm sure if you've used the online booking tool, um, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, what it reminds me of is similar online booking tools such as Expedia, Hotels.com, um, where you just go in, you plug in your dates that you need airfare, lodging, car rental, et cetera. Um, it's robust travel management system and it's completely customized for the University of Washington. Uh, so what this is kind of demonstrating is that a lot of our um, policies are actually built into the system. Um, as we move through, I'll go, um, go through a little bit more details on that. Um, one of the biggest examples is uh, one thing you won't find on other online booking tools is that the actual allowable per diems are built into the system. So when you go to your search on Expedia, it's not gonna compare side by side saying, hey, this is within the allowable per diem that the, that the university has to follow. Um, so just one of the big ones I want to highlight real quick. Um, and bookings can easily be done using your CTA account. Uh, if you know what that is, Central Travel Account, um, offered through card services. Um, they also recognize individual UW travel cards um, as well as personal cards. Um, so one thing they presented on is traveler satisfaction. So CBT has a university specific team. Um, if, if you've worked them with them before, uh, you would already know this, but um, when you go to do your bookings and you reach out to CBT, they actually have a team that is dedicated to the University of Washington. So um, other travel agencies may just route you through like a central service or something like that. Um, but we actually have a specific uh, phone number as well as email where our um, travel agents can be, can be reached directly. Um, they have 15 dedicated agents to UW, so quite a few. Uh, the Concur online support team. So uh, one thing I wanna highlight with uh, Concur and CBT. So Concur and CBT are two separate businesses, uh, but they've developed a partnership. So Concur is the one that actually powers the, the online booking tool and it sort of gets funneled through the, the CBT system is the, the best way to think about it. Uh, but they also have uh, their own support team that we get access to because of the partnership with, uh, with CBT. Um, the next thing is that they have a lot of discounted hotels. So just through Concur and the CBT partnership, they have their own discounts. I'll touch on uh, some of the actual UW discounts uh, later as we go, but just note that they also have their own negotiated contracts and rates that are, that are in the, the system that may not be popping up in Expedia and things like that. Um, they also have the capacity to handle groups and meetings. So if you have a big group of non-UW travelers or anything like that, you're setting up a an event or a conference here in Seattle, um, they are able to, to accommodate things like that as well. Um, so this is touching on specialized services. Um, kind of the takeaway from this is that they, they recognize the University of Washington and some of our specific kind of complicated needs. Um, for instance, grant travel, they're very aware of how strict things can be on, on grants, especially federal funding. Uh, the Fly America Act, if you work with federal funding, I'm sure you're very aware of what this is. Um, and so just note that they, they are aware of the Fly America Act and they, they can provide assistance with that uh, when needed. Um, open Skies actually has to do with the Fly America Act, so they do, do some tracking as far as the, the Open Skies Agreement. Um, Non-employee travel, so CBT is not limited to UW employees. Um, they're very aware of 
that we support non-UW uh, non travelers as well. So they are able to accommodate that. Um, and kind of the same thing with a uh, guest travel. And so I said I would mention uh, some of the benefits and how those policies are built into the system. So built-in UW travel policy management. Um, the biggest one that I personally think is very beneficial is that the per diems are built into the system, which I touched on. Um, one of the cool things is it actually flags you. So if, if you have a traveler in there going to book or a travel planner booking, if you click something that's over the allowed per diem, it actually will give you a warning and request that you provide more information. It's not going to stop you from the booking, um, but at least gets uh, travelers thinking um, about the per diem process and staying within compliance. Um, if you have any more questions about that, um, you can always uh, reach out to our office. Integrate department approval. Um, so you can actually integrate approvals um, into the system when you set up your department. Um, kind of how it works is what we do is we link an approval email to a traveler's profile and we can do that for all the different uh, travelers or travel planners. Um, how we've seen departments utilize it is usually by setting up like a shared email, you know, fiscal at uw.edu, something kind of general that relates to the department. Um, and then what happens is anytime that travel profile goes to book in the system, it is going to send an email to that email and then it has to be approved. Um, the best way to think of it is kind of an all or nothing. So if they're, they're doing a car rental or they're doing a lodging, um, what it's going to do is, is request that approval. And uh, with that, you can uh, you can load the CTA into the profile and then add an approval. So what will happen is anytime they go to book on the CTA, it's going to get get funneled to that, that approval email. Um, University of Washington and state of Washington discounts on airline, hotel, and car. So just note that they're very aware of the our negotiated contracts and negotiated rates. And so they're actually all loaded in the system. So um, Again, if you're on Expedia or Hotels.com or something like that, you may see the cheaper rates as far as the market, uh, but those do not have the actual negotiated contracts and rates that we have um, as a university with, uh, with those vendors. Uh, duty of care 24 seven support. Um, duty of care is obviously important. What we're talking about there is keeping track of our travelers uh, for traveler safety. So if they're out in a, um, high risk area or something like that and something's going down. Um, the system actually does a great job of tracking where, tra where those travelers are. Um, it has their contact information it's able to send out warnings and things like that. So when our travelers are out just doing their own bookings on you know, alaska.com or whatever it is, uh, we obviously would be missing that piece. We don't know um, exactly where they are. 24-7 uh, support. Um, so. CBT does have uh, business hours, which is pretty standard, uh, but they also have a 24 seven support. So I think believe how it works is they, they link out to a third party, um, but just note that if a traveler needs support, they can always um, reach somebody through, uh, through contact information at, the, at CBT. Um, track and manage unused tickets. Uh, I won't go into too much detail on this, um, but just note that it, it does a great job of tracking this information. So your traveler is not able to make the trip or it gets canceled. Um, the travel dashboard, which I'm going to show you in a second, um, helps you manage that, that process. It'll show you this traveler had a ticket that was unused. And then typically you'd be working through CBT on kind of what your options are with the, with those tickets. Hey, can I, can I change the name to another traveler? A lot of times you can do things like that for a fee and stuff like that. So just note that it tracks all that information for you. Um, non-refundable ticket reassignment. Uh, I won't go into too much detail on this, uh, kind of similar to that, um, but just note that they have options for, for ticket reassignment and things like that. Um, so this slide, uh, pretty straightforward. This is just some of the discounts that are loaded. So I mentioned before the different um, contracts and vendor discounts and everything like that, that that we have as a university with those vendors. And so those are all loaded into the system. And this is just kind of breaking down what uh, some of those examples are. Alaska, we have a big big contract with them as well as, as, well as Delta and Emirates and things like that. 
Um, and so this is just gives you a preview of what the air portal dashboard looks like. Essentially, this is what happens when you click to go log in for the first time. You're going to come to this dashboard. This is where you get to the concur booking tool where you manage those tickets. It'll also show you those approvals, um, has different types of reporting and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but this is just kind of showing you what the, what that dashboard looks like. Um, Air Bank automatically saves unused tickets. So I had mentioned that it has a way of tracking those tickets that, are, um, that haven't been used yet. And so if you come to this dashboard, you can actually go see, oh, hey, so-and-so has a ticket that was unused. And you can um, you know, save your department funds by renaming that ticket to another traveler or reminding the traveler saying, hey, you have an unused ticket, you know, please make, make sure you use it next trip or something like that. Um, and so I mentioned this is also where you go to connect to the con Concur online booking tool. This just, just shows you where that, where that link is. Um, easily update travel profiles. So um, how it works is when you're setting up your department, your travelers and everything like that, they make a, it's called a travel profile uh, in the system. And so um, where you go to make changes to that and things like that. So let's say they just got a new rewards program with Alaska or they need to make a name change or anything like that. It's pretty simple. You just go into your travel profile and make those changes. I think some of the changes are locked uh, by concur things like that for for safety reasons or privacy reasons and things like that so sometimes things may need to get changed through through cbt or the concur team but um, just note that you can can make these changes pretty easily on your own um, and this slide just has some of their contact information um, if you have any specific questions for cbt they could always be directed to them um, normally uh, university-wide if you're interested in CBT, um, I would go ahead and reach out to us first. Um, we kind of have the expertise on how everything relates to the University of Washington, how you get set up, what the all that type of process looks like. So, um, if you do have, if you have questions about how you move forward and get set up, uh, you'd be directing that to us. Um, and if you had something that was a CBT question, then we could always uh, connect you with the, the proper person from there. Um, this slide just has our contact information, which I'm sure you already have. Um, but again, if you have any questions about CBT and how it relates to the University of Washington, uh, feel free to reach out. Um, thank you very much. Appreciate it.